Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you an Agrarian Skies 2 Hardcore Quest tutorial. Today, we are going to be covering how to access the mod pack on a Windows-based system. In the near future, these instructions will also apply for Mac users. The first thing you are going to need to do is open the web browser of your choice to beta.cursevoice.com. This will be included in the description below. And click the download now button and run the installation file that you download. Once you have done this, you will be able to open the curse voice client. When you start getting the client open, it is going to go through this. It will inform you that you are on beta and then it will ask you to either register an account or log in. If you have a Minecraft forum account, you already have a, voice, a curse voice account and you simply need to use whatever your username and password is there. Otherwise, simply add your email address, your desired username, confirm your password, and agree to the terms and conditions to register, like practically anything else. When you do create your account for Curse, be sure that you are using a unique password that you are not using for any other website or for any of your game accounts. This is basic password security and is not to imply that anything is particularly unsafe or non-secure on this platform, it's simply a good idea to use a different password everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and log in off screen. There we are. Now, once you are logged in, you are not going to have this Minecraft tab right here. That will not exist the first time you log in. To get that to uh, appear, you're going to need to click the curse drop down, go to settings, and you're going to want to go down to the Plugins tab, and that's where you're going to turn the uh, Enable the Minecraft plugin. When you do this, Curse is going to tell you that it needs to download some things and potentially restart the client. Go ahead and let that happen. Once that happens, you will have the Minecraft tab in your, uh, your settings. You can tell it wherever you want to install the Minecraft version and instance that it's going to use. Tell it what resolution you want to spawn the client at, and how much memory you want to allocate to the client. You can also show advanced options and give it whatever other Java arguments you tend to use for Minecraft. To get the mod pack in question, you're going to go to the Minecraft tab. You won't have any of this down there, like I do. You instead will just have this install mod pack button. Go ahead and click that button, and it will take a moment to tell you what mod packs are available, download the entire list of what's there. You'll be able to find a number of really good mod packs, including all of the currently available Feed the Beast mod packs, and plenty of third-party packs as well. You can find Agrarian Skies too, either by scrolling through the popular and featured packs, or by searching for Agrarian Skies. Just go ahead and click Install, and it will begin downloading the 145 megabyte pack. Let's just let this take its time to finish. Now, one thing of note, if you install from this screen, it will simply finish when it's done. The reason for this, when I go back to my Minecraft tab, I can have multiple versions of the same pack installed. In this case, I have the Skylords Agrarian Skies 2 server pack, and this one is going to be the Forgecraft Agrarian Skies 2 server pack. You can rename a pack when you open it up in here. You can click on the pack itself and you can go to profile options and rename the pack right here. So it's a simple case for me to add Forgecraft to this Agrarian Skies 2 instance. This is also where you can unlock the pack to add custom mods. For example, many people like Vein Miner. I don't recommend messing with Jaded's Agrarian Skies 2 because it is very tightly balanced and you are likely to run into a lot of issues with item and block IDs and the general progression of the pack if you start tweaking with the mods involved, but for those advanced users, users who wish to do so, you can do so. And it will refresh the file, file list every time you change things around. So there we go, now I have Agrarian Skies 2, copy number 1. All I need to do now is click play. What it's going to do is, if you don't have Minecraft, the vanilla Minecraft Launcher 1.6.11 installed, it will install it for you. And 
Then you will be able to select the profile. It's only going to launch with Agrarian Skies 2 as your potential profile. You will need to enter your Minecraft username and password. This is going only to Mojang. Your M Minecraft username and password are never going to be shared with Curse or with anyone else. And then it's just you click play like any other Minecraft pack and it will go ahead and set everything up and launch it for you. It's a very, very simple system, very clean, and I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, this is my favorite launcher that I have used in the Minecraft community so far from a user point of view. There are more features coming in the future to make it a better place for server owners and to allow it to support the Mac user base. If you are a Mac or Linux user and you would like to access Agrarian Skies 2, there will be another tutorial video which you can find in an annotation on the screen now or in the description below. Go there and I will walk you through how to download the pack for Mac and Linux and how you can get started playing. Thank you much, very much for joining me, everyone. You can expect many more of these Agrarian Skies 2 tutorials in the future, and I'll see you next time.